let's see where are we at leo leo may 2019 leo i hope you guys are doing wonderful i'm trying to get on these readings i've been fighting with bugs and stuff but i think i am good to go so leos let's see what you got coming in for 2019 may for some of you i definitely feel like you're in your element um which means that you have a lot of opportunities that are coming in some of you are going to feel the need to defend yourself against attack now this could be spiritual attack but i feel for some of y'all this is more so people not i guess going along with what maybe you want you could be defending why you do certain things you know well, why do you do this why do you want that and it's because i want it. because i want it i don't have to keep telling you why i want you to do things so some of you you may have people that are like okay you're changing your spiritual beliefs are changing why do you believe in that and it's because i do because i do so some of you i feel like definitely are going to be having to defend yourself with some people around you which means that there are attacks that are coming leo so if it's in the spiritual sense some of you definitely need to watch your back keep your protection up make sure you do your cleansings and things like that oh, let me move this back over I do feel for some of y'all, this is being hidden. You have people that are purposely doing this. So there could be a lot of talk behind your back. There could be somebody that's going behind you gossiping about you. But the thing about it is, is that it comes back to you. So some of you are going to be feeling like, well, mm -hmm, you smiling in my face, eating my potato salad, coming to my get together or whatever. And you know, you being an asshole behind. So be careful about what you share with people around you because for some of you you have some people around you that definitely are using things that you say to try to plot against you could be in a workplace could be within the family could be within friends now i do feel like for some of you if you do practice within the arts this could even be some type of psychic attack or spiritual attack so be really careful too like i said with keeping your protection and things up it's almost like you got, I keep getting a bullseye, a bullseye on some of you. Now I do, for, I do see with some of you, there could be some sleepless nights. There could be some worries. This could be part of a spiritual attack, but then for some of you, this may just be stressing about opportunities that are coming in too much stuff going on, feeling overwhelmed. Like, damn, I got a lot of shit going on for some of you. This could even be a lack of communication with somebody that you're dealing with. Somebody may have ghosted you. You know, you were talking with somebody and you felt like we were going good or whatever. And then all of a sudden it's like, okay, what happened? And this could be with a friendship. This could even be with business. But I do see that some of you are going to be dealing with jealousy, definitely jealousy. Also, too, you could be having some issues with procrastination um, this month. You know, you need to do it. You need to mail out packages. You need to go ahead. Oh, that reminds me. I got to go to the post office today. Damn it. But I'm glad. Thank you, Spirit some of you definitely have things that you need to go ahead and take care of but you could be so overwhelmed that you're taking care of so many other things that you really get lost within that that struggle with that so be careful that if it's a timely thing that you need to go ahead and do it especially if it has money and things attached to it some of you may be putting things to the side and oh i'll take care of it next week take care of it next week it can end up costing you more money or if there's something that needs to be paid to you, you may not get the money coming to you that you need. So Leo, Leo, Leo for May 2019. Leo, May 2019. Look at that. We got another bug in here. Where did this one come from? 2019 Leo. Let's see. So we have Seven of Swords. Some of you watch it back because it's showing that there's something going on behind your back there's more to it that meets the eye some of you could be dealing with somebody that you work with could be a boss could be a partner could be somebody that you work with um it's showing that there's more going on that you see so you need to look a little bit deeper and it could have something to do with your stability you know um somebody could be taking money away from you somebody could be um undermining your work or your business or your project so you need to be really careful with that because i do feel like you're a queen of you're showing even though this is, is a 
Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, the energy is showing that you're being a workaholic. So you're putting in a lot of energy into work, but it, I feel like you could be all over the place that you're missing certain things that maybe you need to see. So there could be things that you need to look deeper into when it comes to work that undermine, that may undermine your stability. Um, I feel like for some of you, either you're learning new things, teaching new things, but there's a lot of things that are opening up for you. You could be dealing with an air sign where there's going to be some conflicts and it could be because of a difference in, of a difference in, of opinion. I feel like there's this thing and this could be where the defense thing is coming in where you're dealing with a Libra, Gemini or Aquarius person where it's like, okay, I want this. And the other person is like, no, I want this. And there's a lot of back and forth and there's some issues with it, but it's showing that you could be dealing with a, an air sign person that feels overwhelmed or either they're overwhelming you. So it's showing that there's a lot of energy that's going around. It could cause some type of conflict. I feel for some of you, if this is business, there could be some issues with something that is being overlooked or either not handled to the specifics that you want that could cause this conflict. If it's with a love thing, I feel like you could be dealing with somebody that is, they're always busy. You know, I want to talk to you. I want to go out with you. I want to deal with you, but you're always busy. And you could be dealing with a connection with a air sign person, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Like, okay, I need you to slow down so that we can connect. You know, I need you to, you know, put things on hold for a little bit. And this person may not want to do it. There could be some power struggle that's going on between a fire sign and an air sign. And it is one of these things where it could be like two people bumping heads. You know, my balls are bigger than your balls or vice versa. But it is showing there could be some type of power struggle. For some of you, I feel like this could be something where a partnership could be strained. Now, if it's not a partnership, this could be with a friend or a coworker where it's like, okay, we should be connecting a little bit more, but I feel like we're having problems. And it is showing that somebody somebody may be having the the idea that they just want to move in a different direction. You know, I don't know if this is working for me anymore. I feel like maybe I, I've outgrown this or I want to move in a different direction. They may be thinking this, but they may not be sharing this with you. So you definitely may feel that there's a lot put be, being put on your plate because maybe you got to pick up the slack because somebody is making decisions or making plans that maybe you don't know about. So if this is business, you could have somebody that is making a plan to exit something or walk away. This could be an employee. If this is love, you could be dating somebody that is like, okay, you know what? I don't know how to say it. So I'm just going to maybe ghost you. I'm not going to call you anymore and just let it be whatever it's going to be. Either way, spirit is saying conversations need to be had. Whatever it is, you're going to be fine, Leo. Queen of Wands and then Six of Swords. This is some, somebody that's like, you know what? I ain't got time for this shit. I really don't. If it's something that needs to be handled, handle it or move on. That's your philosophy. A lot of you are going to be like, you know what? I'm confident I can deal with it. If you can't deal with it, then you need to go on and move on. I'll get somebody in your place that can handle it. For some of you, this is you basically traveling. You know, you've been overwhelmed. You've been dealing with some drama going on around you. And you're like, I ain't got time for this shit. I got other things that I want to do. So this could be a vacation, you know, walking away from drama, feeling like I don't want to deal with this anymore. Some of you, I feel like could be walking away from a place that things were not turning out the way you wanted it. You know, I don't have time to deal with it. So I'm going to focus on things that I need to deal with right now for some of you. There could be issues where you're defending things. This woman has her spear in her hand. Whether this is a male or a female, this is somebody that's saying, look, I'm tired of fighting. I don't really want to fight. I'll fight if I have to because she's ready. But it's like shit is not turning out the way that I hoped. So maybe I need to take a little trip. And it looks like this could be somebody that's going somewhere, maybe trying to focus in on their money. Let me go see what else I can do. So if this is job, some of y'all might be leaving a job, walking away from a job, taking a little trip, picking up another job, not wanting to be um, 
mixed up in any type of drama. For some of you, you could have been working somewhere, had hopes that things were going to turn out. And then all of a sudden you got all these other issues that you didn't ask for. Could be dealing with people. I feel like there's jealousy that some of y'all are dealing with, Leos. I feel like there's jealousy and it could be around money. You know, maybe somebody's jealous you're making more money or you have an opportunity to make more money. You may even have to defend you know, a change that you're trying to do, whether this is within a job, work, or something for you that maybe people are not really getting or understanding. Whatever it is, some of you may be worried about how you're going to do it. You know, how is it going to happen? Or are you opening up new things for you? Some of you might actually even be moving towards um, new opportunities. And maybe other people don't want you to have these opportunities. I get a lot of jealousy. I feel like you could have people that are trying to undermine you. But Spirit is saying it's okay. It's okay. They can come against you, but you're still going to get what you want with the Nine of Cups. It's like, what the fuck? Who do you think you're dealing with? Look at all this fire in this card. This woman is, our male is manifesting shit. It's like, just because you think you got shit going on behind your back, I'm going to do the stuff in front of you to let you see how powerful I am. You got to go behind my back, but I'm going to do it in front of you. So some of you, you could have a situation where you're coming out because maybe something, um, where is it at? Wasn't going the way you wanted. And it could be because somebody was doing something behind your back. So you may have had somebody that tried to stop something, but they didn't. Spirit said unnecessary worry. Nine of cups still coming in. You get what you wish for. Your money's still coming in. So some of you definitely could be dealing with jealousy, envy, people trying to disrupt you, trying to take opportunities away from you. Watch your money. Watch your wallet. Watch your purse. Watch people that you work with that are trying to take more money from you than what they deserve. For some of you, this could be people that you feel like you, you trust. For a few of you, these are people that you already know. You already looking at them because you already know you're a problem. You know, I know I already see you. You know, the way she's looking up in this picture let me try to get her eyes in there. Look at them eyes. Them eyes like, I know who the fuck you are and what the fuck you doing. I know you. But look at all this power that this person has. She's like, yeah, you know, keep fucking with me if you want to. Damn, Leo, y'all gangster. Male or female? Some of y'all are like, nah, you ain't fixing to mess up my, with, with God, the universe, whatever deity that is walking with you you're like no nah, y'all not fixing to mess up my stuff some of you definitely i feel like there could be some spell work involved now if you don't deal with spell work then don't worry about it i mean this may not even pertain to you but for those that deal with a community where you know you're a worker and another person is a worker it is showing that there's some things going on behind your back where somebody's really trying to fuck up opportunities that are coming your way. So you got to be careful with that. Put your boundaries, set your parameters, you know, protect yourself, do your cleansing. Some of y'all are going to be doing some reversal work on this person because you see them and you got the power to do it. I see you. The sun card is showing you standing on top. Look at this. So whatever was trying to be done behind your back, nah, nah. Some of y'all are waiting. You're patient. You're patient. You know something is going on, but you're like, okay, I can wait. I can wait. I really can. And it's showing that for some of you, you have opportunities. Let me try to get them together. Let me try to get them together. It's, it's showing that intuitively either you're being guided on what to do or you're waiting for this message to come through from spirit to tell you how to handle something. But you have the patience. You have the patience. The thing is, too, let me get them together. 
you're looking at every avenue. The awakening card is somebody looking at things from different perspectives. So you're looking at situations that are going on around you, especially when it comes to work, people around you, people not doing right things towards you. Some of y'all are like, I'm waiting, but I'm watching you. I got my eye on you. I have opportunities coming in to make money. You're not going to stop that. Some of you, I feel like you got somebody from the past that's coming in that's going to be a distraction, but it is showing that you get right back on whatever it is that you need to concentrate on. And for some of you, this is going to be your money. I do see some of you have somebody from the past who wants to come back into your life. They want to come back into your life. For some of you, Leo, some of y'all could have even taken money from a person. And it could have disrupted a relationship. Somebody could have stole from you. Or you could have stole from them. General Reed. For some of you, I feel like you were playing two sides of a coin or somebody was doing this with you. And they got caught. And it caused problems within your friendship or your relationship. Because it is showing somebody there's some stuff being done. In the dark. Some of you could have got involved with somebody that you work with, had a, started a secret relationship with this person and the person that they're with is working against you. Trying to break up your opportunities with this person or their money. Lord, Leo, this stuff could get deep. But I do feel like some of you, if you do walk away from somebody, if you are seeing somebody and there was something that was done to break up a relationship, whether you did it, this person did it to you, or there is a person on the outside that was working against this relationship. This person is coming back in. They're coming back in. Maybe you made a commitment. You know, I'm sorry I fucked up. I'm sorry whatever happened between us happened to us. But, you know, let's go ahead and see this out. Ah, goodness. For some of you, it could be because you literally lost some money in a situation. And it's like, let me go ahead and, and make this right with this person to get my stuff back. Because some of y'all are reversing the situation. You know, let me do what I need to do. Let me be patient so I can get whatever they took away from me back. For some of you, this could be you messing up with a relationship and then all of a sudden it's like, damn it, I fucked up. Let me get this person back. Let me bring them back into my life. Let me tell them how I feel. Some of you may have been holding your, your tongue when it came to a relationship. Won't apply to everybody. For some of y'all, this is an employee taken away from you. For a few of you, this is a boss or somebody who got involved with somebody that they were working with and something didn't go well. Whether this was lies, you were married, they were married, there was some investment, maybe y'all went in together, it didn't go well. But this is somebody saying, I care about you, I'm sorry that it happened, let's work this out, let's fix this. For a few of you, this is like, oh, you stole from me, I'm done. I'm going to burn your ass, I'm done. So it's two different scenarios, Leo, two different scenarios. I do feel like a lot of y'all are connecting with like-minded people, and this could be in a spiritual sense or spiritual community. This could be in a workplace. It is showing with this fire card, page of wands, that there's new exciting things that are coming with you, and you could end up working with people that you want to work with. You know, let's, let's get this money together. This could be traveling with somebody, making money, getting a partnership together, working some type of business together. But there's money coming in. You could be tired. I do see a lot of traveling for Leo's. I think for the last five or six months, I've seen a lot of travel in your cards where y'all are just back and forth all over the place. But you could be making connections with people that bring in new money, bonus money. Some of you definitely are connecting more with spirit. But like I said, be careful with things that you don't see. Ask your ancestors, ask spirit to bring things to the forefront. Let me see what I need to see. For some of you, especially with these cards, there's definitely messages of love that's coming in for you. Definitely messages of love. If you were in a secret relationship, it looks like that somebody is finally making a decision. Let's take this public. 
let's let's go into a situation where we're not hiding it. And for some of y'all, this may mean divorce. This may mean that you're walking away from somebody to connect with somebody spiritually that you're in love with. Oh, Lord. I feel for some of you, when it comes back to reconnecting with somebody, whether they hurt you or you hurt them, you may be dealing with an air sign that pulls away from you. I don't know if this is really honest what you're trying to do. You know, there could be somebody that's like, let's talk about this more. If there's a problem with an air sign, y'all could be having a deeper conversation. There could be a pullback at first. Somebody doesn't want to see the problem. You know, there's decisions to be made. That's why we're pulling away from each other. This could be a friendship. If it's not a love relationship, it's a friendship where it's like, damn it, I don't want it to end this way. Let's talk about it. For some of you, definitely, this is a relationship where you might have been involved with somebody you worked with. The timing wasn't right. Either you were with somebody, they were with somebody. You pulled away, they pulled away, and then there's a comeback. But there's still some hesitancy with this. For some of you, you're connecting with this person because it's like we can make money together. We can bring this back together and make money as a friend, as a group. For some of you, there's still emotions that are attached to an air sign person, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Could even be water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But some of you still feel connected to somebody. You may not want to open the door with this person again, but some of you do feel connected to somebody. Like, damn it, you know, I guess I got to give this person a chance. Well, you don't have to if you don't want to, but for some of you, you may, you may feel like it. I feel Leo's there's opportunities for love and money coming in, but I feel money is probably more what's on your mind right now for a lot of you. New job opportunities. Some of you may be opening new business, think, thinking about opening new business, but there's multiple streams of income. This could be boosting businesses that you already have, finding new jobs, opening doors. It's showing that there's good news about money coming in. Your card is showing that you're ready for it. I can handle this. Whatever this success is, I'm ready for it. Some of you are pulling back from people and things that you do because you're focused on this. Got to get that money. So love for some of y'all, it's there. Some of y'all may have had a hard time with somebody and they're coming back and you're like, do I want to open this up again? But some of y'all do. I just see fears. Am I going to get hurt? Is this person going to hurt me? For some of y'all, this could be a challenge that happened with a friendship. Could have been some money that was taken away from you. And it's like, do I want to give this friendship another chance? Some of y'all do. Now let's look into love for Leo. Spirit, Leo with love. Some of y'all are connecting with a past life person. There's a strong draw to a soulmate that's coming in. You could meet somebody that you just have amazing chemistry with and you don't know why. You could end up working with this person and you're trying to be cool with it. I don't want to like you. Don't look at me like that. Don't flirt with me. I'm married. I got a man. I got a woman. I don't, you know, there's this thing where don't do it. I'm trying to be right here. So the timing could have been off. But it looks like there is an attraction between two people that's coming in. And they maybe have a hard time separating, you know, that they shouldn't do this. I feel like there is eventually a pullback. If you're meeting somebody and the time is off, I feel like either they're pulling back from you or you're pulling back from them, Leo. For some of you, it's like I'm married. I can't get involved with you. We can't do this. You know, you cool, you look good and everything, but I can't do this with you. For some of you, there could be a distance with this person too. Let's see. Some of you are definitely going to meet somebody in a work setting or out with friends within a group, and it's going to be an immediate attraction. Man, I don't know what it is. I like your haircut, you know, your suit. I like the way you smell. The conversation is good. But this person or you may still be involved with somebody that you haven't let go of yet. So all of a sudden, there's this amazing connection, but I can't move forward with you because the timing is off. And then some of you are like, okay, you know what? The timing is off, but I still feel something with this person. I'm going to pull back, but I still feel like there's a chance. And it is showing that if you did start something with somebody and you pulled back from
from them because maybe you were married with somebody and the timing was off. It's showing that there's a reconciliation that comes in. You knew it wasn't over. So you knew this person was coming back and it's a very passionate relationship. I can't stop thinking about you. You know, for some of you, this could have been sex, like a one night stand. And then all of a sudden this person is like, shit, you know, what did I do? This is forgiveness. You know, I'm with somebody. I'm with somebody. You know, maybe we're not in the best place, but I'm with somebody. But I connected with you and I knew the timing was off. But I'm, a, I'm attracted to you. And some kind of way, you know, our penis in the, 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 the penis in the vagina met. You know, and it's like, oh, Lord, I didn't intend for that. So there's a pullback for some of you. Definitely. You're calling a soulmate and you're praying for this person. You did some self work. You know, I've worked on myself. I don't want to get involved in drama. I don't need to be in. I've worked on myself, but it is showing that a lot of you are calling a soulmate in. I want to be with a person that connects with me. So it is showing that there's soulmate connections that could be drawing you to this person. Yeah, some of you want to let go of somebody that you're with to go with this new love. You know, I want to be with this person. I've called this person in towards me. But I got to let go of the past. I got to let something go from the past. And some of you are going to have a hard time with it because it's a cycle. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. For some of you, the cycle really is you're married. You have a family. There's a codependency. I can't. I can't do this with you. I can't. I got to heal my shit. I got people that are depending on me. I'm married. I'm with somebody. So for some of you, this could be a secret relationship that maybe started off as a one night stand, wasn't meant to be anything major. And then you find out, damn it, there's a soulmate. I'm falling in love. For some of you that are single, you may have met somebody that you had amazing connection with. And then you found out that they're with somebody or they're not in a position to move forward. And it's showing that there's feelings there. There's amazing chemistry with somebody that's coming in for you, Leo, and you're not going to be able to fight it. It's like, what the fuck? This could be a true love to you. And it may cause you to walk away from something that maybe isn't the healthiest or something that's dead. And for some of you, you don't know if you want to do it. Some of you just may be tempted by somebody that comes in that has amazing chemistry. You're attracted to them and you're like, I can't do this. I already have a partner. I feel like it's a spiritual connection. It's going to be hard. It's a soulmate connection. And there's a lot of spirit uh, intervening on this where they want you two to come together. Now, they're not saying that you got to have sex. That's on you if you want to do it. I don't know if spirit is pushing you to do that. I'm not there, so I don't know. I guess they could. For some, this person may live a distance away from you. Could be a different race, be a different culture, but there is a past life connection. They're soulmate. So you feel drawn to somebody. You don't want to, but you're fighting it, but you, it's like, damn it. You know, you're not who I thought I was going to be with. You don't look like who I thought I was going to be with. You know, I'm a black girl. You know, you're an Aborigine from, from Australia. I can't go and live in the bush. I love you, though. We could go have sex in the bush, but I can't stay in Australia with you. I got to come back to Texas. I, damn it. Don't you hate when that happened? Yeah. Some of you feel like this person, though, is worth waiting for. You're going to have a hard time breaking a, a, a connection with somebody. And this is whether you're single or whether you're the one that's married. Some of you are going to have a hard time breaking the connection. Some of y'all are married. You got a, a routine. You got family. You're like, I ain't fucking up none of my shit for none of this. I'm sorry. Peace be out, soulmate. I'll dream about you and think about you from time on, but we ain't doing nothing else other than that. Meet me in my dreams and keep it on the down low. Nobody need to know about this situation. Some of y'all, this could be astral sex or an astral relations, a relationship where you refuse to let it become physical, in the physical. But for some of y'all, y'all are really going to be like, oh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Please help me. Come on. You don't, don't do this to me. Y'all going to be in there smudging and, you know, oh, la, 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 la,
Don't let me look. Oh, I'm looking. Some of y'all are going to just be having some hard times with somebody. It is what it is. I wish you the best, Leo. I really do. Because a lot of times y'all get what y'all want, even if it's not good for you. Y'all get what y'all want. So I'm just saying, I see nothing, Leo. Bye.